that we, as we work with school districts, and as we work as a, as we work as a company, um, uh, student groups in general, um, in 2010, was a recipient of the Malcolm Baldrige Award, and so one of the things that we know in terms of the student group practices is that what we've done over the years as a company is align the work that we do within our organization because we follow these same practices as well. Um, but align those practices with the ball bridge. And so what I, as we've been working with your school districts, there are a number of you that are, are saying, you know what, we really would like to consider maybe applying for the ball bridge or moving toward that process. So I wanted to end our session with um, two presenters. One, uh, Dr. Sturkey and Joanne and I met uh, years ago. Um, I was in Milwaukee and um, we had dinner together and just kind of connected and have stayed connected in and out. She's come to a TYYO and we've just um, maintained that connection. And she's just been doing some great work in Pewaukee School District and has gone through the Baldridge process and is gonna tell, her, tell us her story based on the experience of her, her doing that as a superintendent. And then once she concludes, I asked Dean Bondas to join us who is the center, executive director for the Center for Performance Excellence in Kentucky, who really provides coaching and support to organizations in Kentucky, or school districts and organizations in Kentucky, for the Baldrige piece. So this is really now all about how do we, at some point, position ourselves for potentially becoming uh, or working toward the Baldrige.